Hey everyone. I screwed up a little bit just then. I quit the race and now I can't rejoin because it's um it's already started. So I have to pick this up in um Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's still going there, but I just can't see it. Hang on. Maybe we're good. Oh, the race is still there. I'm, <laughs> I may have quit, so this may not count. But the race is still going, so... I'll try and still keep going until it kicks me out. So we might not be able to get a second camera angle because it thinks I've quit already but uh, you never know too many windows and things going on right now yeah it says I'm offline so yeah unfortunately I'm not going to get a second camera angle but I'm going to persevere with this and just have to see some empty boxes maybe I'll just keep it on this one for now um, and we stop the automatic switcheroo all right bit of a schmozzle to start things off it's always good but um yeah still streaming so let's let's go and qualify at spa Hopefully it still thinks I'm in the game and counts my results or not, depending on how, how well we do. All right, here we go. It exits clear. We've got two laps to set a decent time. So yeah, um, I'll just recap for everyone. I accidentally quit out of the race. It's sort of where you sign up for the race and um, there's a button, you know, to cancel. And I accidentally hit that rather than launching a second window for a second camera. But I didn't close the uh, game window, so... I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen now. Part of the site thinks I'm not taking part, and the other part thinks I am. Anyway, we focus on qualifying. We're at Spa Francorchamps in Belgium. Iconic racetrack. Some iconic corners like that one, pull on. Yeah, so the day hasn't started great. I've also had some camera technical difficulties. So we've only got one camera. Hopefully that one is still working and still live. Um, so yeah, interesting start to the weekend and start to the race. So anyway, here we go. Easy does it on the first lap. Through Eau Rouge, up over Radion, then we're down the, the Kimmel Strait. Kimmel, Kimmel, Camel, I don't know, Kimmel, I think.
the inputs feel a little laggy. I'm not exactly sure why. I do have a chat window inside the VR uh, view, so that can cause a bit of more, you know, a bit more strain on processing. So I get a bit of a laggy feel of the car. Not great around the source, but we're in P1 at the moment. Oh. <laughs> this, this is going to be interesting. So the guy in P2 right now, former teammate. Actually, he quit just last week or week before. The guy ahead has just posted a 158.1. The guy ahead's last lap time is a P1 on 57.9. Oh, adrenaline. Yeah. Oh, Steve. Now he wants to chat. How are we doing on our stream? I think we're good. What's that? Can hear you though the mic, but no. What is that? Sim sounds. Oh, I actually can hear your engineer, but not the car. Right. Okay. Let's see where the sound is going. Voice meter, AV, ux out. I think we'll be gridding soon, but maybe just get enough time to sort this sound out. That's the end of the session. Uh, Pole I position. Think, well done, mate. I think um, I had one of the um, inputs off, so I think it should be good now. Thanks for that, Matty. Joshua, I need your setup, mate. Alrighty. I think I've got the uh Rule of base. Nice lap. We're good here. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to turn the fan towards me a bit. My head feels like it's gonna fucking explode. It's so hot. Um all right. I haven't done any practice starts, so this, I don't know what's going to happen. Best lap, I think we got enough fuel and such. Yeah. We'll see, I guess. 
Good one, Maddie. Fuck. What was that? Just something I'll probably exit the game halfway through on me. Like granny stuck to the shop and still did. Those few laps gotta really concentrate. So I gotta really wanna push to oh, break. Oh Uh-oh. Sorry man.
Sorry for the drinking sound. So yeah, for the lack of chatter, it's just I'm almost you know, a bit too destructive. I made the mistake of using my DOS just then. Force of habit. Hey, what? No problem. Yes, bar can bite you at any time with this car. I mean, that's almost every track in our racing. that I don't even know how you pronounce his name but the gator guy I just found out that yeah, things can go wrong at any moment so. So I get about a 10 second gap if that's even possible. I haven't been keeping track of the deltas. But I don't know how much uh, they fluctuate at the moment. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you.
fuck, I hit the ice again! What an idiot. It's just force of habit when practicing volley laps. You're hitting DRS anywhere you can. Like you only get to a certain limit. Oh, I'm really what I also forgot to do was turn up the text size and chat. You have to punch down like a grandma to read it. Maybe. Ex teammate. Oh, yeah, okay. Alright, next lap around. I'll give you an update on ex teammate situation. So I dropped that little story at the start, but gave not a lot of context. on your pants, that's what it should be called. Apparently they're taking poo on flat out, no lift in F1 last year, which is incredible. The G4 save must be pulling through where the lateral Gs must be just insane. <laughs> You're on team Steve. So, uh, I don't know what, um, if any of you guys can see the actual current standings in the race. Dude, I'm sorry. I mean, I could, I could scroll through them, but I don't really want to take my hands off the wheel. What's his position at the moment? So anyway, um, a bit of context for my story earlier. We started this little jokey team, DRF, uh, yeah, no, DFR, Downforce Racing. And it's just for a bit of fun and we have a Discord channel and we share setups and help each other in practice and whatnot. And um, I, last week was Monza and we were racing together and I think he was no, pole, and I was third, and in the first turn of the first lap, I accidentally went into the side of him, which is, I mean, it's not uncommon, <laughs> an uncommon spot in Monza to have an accident, it, it happens every year in, in the F1, it happens almost every single race in my racing, but, um, yeah, he was pretty upset about it, and didn't talk to me, for a week I didn't hear from him, I apologise, what not, but um, when I finally did hear from him, he said he was quitting the team, saw a pattern emerging, which I'm not exactly sure what that meant, maybe that I am in competition with him, or, or I don't know, I don't know, I don't know exactly, he didn't give too much, he didn't elaborate too much. But anyway, he, I mean, he's super fast. Um, and all of them are fast, but... Um, so anyway, he started P4, I think, here. Just in this race. How are you having a shitty race? Do you have to try to battle me for 8th place like that? A little bit here. All right, I dropped the pace. Obviously, you can see the effect of talking and driving at the same time. Driving and talking at the same time. I dropped half a second over the lap from my best. And half a second is a good chunk of change when I'm um, usually measuring tenths or hundredths.
I think in Melbourne it's supposed to get to like 37 today, is it? It's already so hot. This would be probably my only race today. There's always an incident in Lasos. Hard that dude. <laughs> this is also what's coming up here. Like turn one in My Monza. Oculus decided to quit on me right at restart, so I understand. So yeah, like turn one in Monza, turn one in Spa is always just chaos. I mean, last year in the F1, you saw Fernando Alonso flying over the top of the pack because he was shunted from behind from Nico Hulkenberg. Always a shimmelism. Steve is still in the mix. Driving within a second of our poly lap, which is good. Now, our poly lap is done on 10 litres of fuel Thank you. and uh, used DRS the whole way around the lap. So. I did overshoot the start. P3 has binned it. Not too far away from some back markers. Which again is always super interesting <laughs> on a uh, track where you get a lot of benefit from the toe. Because they can often keep up with you in the, in the straights, but it's the twisty stuff where they lose a lot of time, and that's where you make up a lot of your time. So they're racing, they're not letting you buy in the straights because you're about the same speed, and they try and let you buy in the corners, which is just risky. More often than not, ends in tears. for the race, which is good. Hopefully this guy lets me buy before. That's not going to not going to lift. And then it's stuck behind him for a while. Shit! Right side, 
Oh, see what I mean? Oh my god. Let me let me buy mid corner. Oh. I mean, it's just so fucking unpredictable that it's predictable. Man, yeah, there's a second 40 for that when he could have lifted. Easy. The same thing, he lost way more time probably than lifting on the straight. Another one. You want to show. Catch up to him probably in the middle of the bus stop chicane. Where he's going super slow. Race me? Oh my god. What is he? 19th. He wanted to ock on me. Take out P1. Another 7 tenths lost. I'll let you park up here, okay? <laughs> That's why I will not pass you. Oh. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> okay, just a few seconds. <laughs> Still a lot of laps to go. And a lot more back markers ahead. Thanks, Corey. Focus. Sorry, guys. Keep quiet, okay. I know you're doing four second laps faster than me, so it's still fun. Thank you. 
to get a couple of laps to pull the tyres down after locking them up so badly. clear those curbs. beneficial for him as well because it's not he's losing the least amount of time possible he's not, he's not getting in a silly incident Massive toe now. And uh, maybe overtake me again. Make sure I covered it anyway.
gets really light in the rear there. Got a big chance of going throttle. Que grande, Victor. Gracias, Steve. Tell the, the tires going a bit just because um, I'm breaking at the marker board and even earlier than I normally would, and I'm still not stopping in time, still starting to lock up a bit more. I could probably dial it out a little bit with some brake bias. I'm a little hesitant to change it just yet because everywhere else feels okay. speed off the turn in to push through the corner a bit. Out, dude. Eighteen laps. No, I mean the eighteen flat now. Only a couple to go. I'm going to be very interested to see what happens. As I said at the top, I quit on the website side thinking the race, I had forfeited the race, but the uh, window here was still open. Thanks. Do 
sorry. Um, at the top, I said that yeah, I had joined the race, so the video game window was open, and there's an accompanying website that allows you to join or leave races. And in the website, I said, "No, I quit the race. It was an accident. I was supposed to click join the join practice." But, um, this window still let me race, even though it said I forfeited. So. I, I just don't know what's going to happen. It's going to ignore my result. I really don't know. But because it had already started loading, I couldn't forfeit. We'll see. It would be disappointing to uh, not. It'll be disappointing for it to not count. I mean, that's assuming I get my finish, right? I don't even check the fuel. Thank you, Louis. Plenty of fuel. You're welcome. Now put on a good tail. I've just been disqualified. Oh, you are kidding me. So it did count the for the forfeit. I might protest that. <laughs> if that's what happens. Especially because it started me in all Either way, we all know who the real winner is. The record books might lie, and the record books might tell. Different story. Still got my food on my head. Qualified. I don't know which it is yet. Who knows? Good win, Josh. Nice pace, man. Yes, thanks, Daniel. Good race, also. Buenísimo, Hector. Tenías como una bala ahí al final. Oh. So who knows what's going to happen? I don't, but let's watch lap one, shall we? And I'll chuck it in chopper, chopper mode. Here we go. Didn't get the greatest star. Went a bit wide. Kept the gas on. It's actually more, probably more beneficial where I was there than being 
in front because of this long stray. They use you know just how powerful the um, DRS plus the tow is. So I just got slingshotted way up in the road. Didn't have the greatest entry and exit there, I was shot it a bit. But it crashes back there. Let's see what that's all about. Just a bit too much pace coming through. Ah, oh, it, it would have been a nice overtake, but he just going a bit too much speed through. It was very, very cautious uh, this first lap. You know. A little too cautious, but I'm sort of lucky that this guy dropped back a bit. Um, so able to get a good exit out of here and then use DRS to try and ensure the gap didn't close up. And the, and the gap to him was also closing up, so it meant that he had to get defensive as well. Which uh, worked in my favour a bit. He was uh, preoccupied with the person behind him and not me in front of him. He was, he was running a higher downforce setting by the looks. I don't even think I used all my DRS, is it? I accidentally used them a couple of times inefficiently, but yeah, I was just able to pull away. He had a stack after a couple of laps. Where that is. Really hoping I don't get disqualified. Oh, there it was. Pretty easy to do, just got a bit of a tank slapper. Come in, turned in a bit too eager, but got unbalanced. There. Managed to hold it though, good on him. That ball was mighty close. Yeah, and that gave me a bit of breathing room then. I don't know what lap it was that I, maybe, maybe this lap, I had a bit of a moment, oh no, oh yeah, well, I did have a bit of a moment there, jeez Louise, how funny is me talking about it just before it was happening, like, ah, oh, it's got the pace on the straight, but then, it's like, where am I going to go? Anyway, happens. Feels this lap over. Yep. <laughs> A little shit your pants moment. Just, just caught on some curb. That's what you call skillful driving. <laughs> I don't know. It was luck. It was luck. That was it. Almost race over. Man, there's just some little bump that unsettled the car. Let's see if I can see the bump. Yeah, it just kind of dips down and unsettles the car. Caught it pretty quick though. And I've given it the beans to try and 
get the car to rotate back the other way. Ah, oh, man. Lucky. Well, then. Will this result? Will this result stay as a win? I'm not sure yet. But to all of you guys watching, that was a win. So, uh, cheers. I'm glad we were able to stream in the end. Anyway, this is the last round of the season. So maybe I should do one more, maybe tomorrow. There's a bit of a send off, but um, right now with it, we're ninth on the, uh, in the world in our division. So hopefully this counts and we'll get it, go up a few places. Anyway, I'll catch you next time. Take care. Peace.